Videos are being released that are showing what type of man Donald Trump is. What do you think about the email leaks that show who Hillary really is? I don't care. Listen, Donald Trump said on this video that he likes kissing pretty women and that you don't? You ugly. Teenage boys now, they are so terrified that if you touch in the wrong place at the wrong time, you may find that your whole life is destroyed. See, see, I and there like is that far terror. too much. Well, I, I, I like that. As a I mother think of a teenage boy, I don't like really? that terror. Really? That's the most delicious thing I've ever heard. I awful. think that men should be frightened. I think it's better to not have a physical relationship than to have one that could ruin a woman's life. But then how do they ever start? Well, don't. If you're not 100% sure, are we don't. For, what, what are you going to have? A bunch of mutant boys who never have? So we actually it's do so have that. Like Gen Z is having far less sexual relationships yes, than any ever they before. are. It's true. And Young people have stopped having sex. That's the kind of woman who would make up a story just to get a man sent to prison. You gotta watch out for ones like this. Complete narcissist. Honestly, crazy. And she's openly saying it like it's normal. Recently in Texas, there was a boy who won the girls wrestling state championship. Do you think that he should have been allowed to compete in that division? I think that a man taking down a woman on a map should warrant a call to the police. If they want to have their own division, go for it. In fact, I would love to watch it. But what is unacceptable is that we have these divisions. This is for women. This is for men. And you have people that are allowing men to compete in these women's divisions and to obviously dominate. Riley Gaines, who has spoken about how she competed against Leah Thomas and it was not fair. Leah Thomas suddenly switching your gender, competing against women is not fair. I am open to Leah Thomas. It's not fair. Don't ask me a question and then cut me off when I give you the answer. It's just obnoxious. I am open to Leah Thomas and every other trans person having their own category at the Olympics and allowing them to compete. I love that your solution is separate, buddy. What? We already have men and women divisions, so is that separate but equal? Next question. I know this 20 year old girl who would be like, everyone here is ass pretty much. Her name's Crystal. Uh, like, Trans are like normal. She's actually a girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta ask these days though, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah. Jake, how many genders are there? There's three. <laughs> male, female, and men to be male. <laughs> wow, for the first time ever, I actually agree with Jake Paul about something I never thought I'd see the day. This guy did a 1,000 push-up challenge in public to see how people would react. As he continued, people began to mock him, pretending to step on him and kick him while doing the challenge. But some people were supportive and began to join him doing push-ups at his side. And as he continued, people kept messing with him and even sat on his back hoping to mess him up, but he still wasn't stopping yet. People even began kicking over his water bottle and were mad at him for doing this. He was getting exhausted, but sometimes people would come over to motivate him to keep pushing. And finally, 1,000 push-ups later, he completed the challenge after 55 minutes of hard work. The women actually seemed to be more offended, whereas the men, they actually seemed to have a lot of respect for him. A lot of them got involved to try and motivate him to do push-ups with him. You see the big difference? But it was the woman who kicked the bottle over, a woman who sat on him, and a woman who called him an embarrassment, which is absolutely pathetic. It's a good representation of life. No matter what you do, some people are going to be with you, and some people are going to be against you. And one more thing, you will never see a hater doing better than you. Hello, nice Hello, to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Campbell. Ashley. I love a scarf. Thank you. What do you do? Uh, I do TikTok. I uh, work in retail. Okay. And I'm also a student. I study communication. I work full time. Okay. In investments. Okay. Generally. Yeah. Thank you. Do you love the gym? I do love the gym. Yeah. Favorite day at the gym? Favorite day, Monday. It's busy. It keeps me going. Okay. Yeah. Leg day is like your go to? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. After work, couple of days. I'm more of a chest and tricep. When you're 12 years old, you're like, I feel like I'm in the wrong body. And that's fine. Like, that's how you feel. And then if you continue that lifestyle, then that's your life. But my job as an adult and a human being is to respect the choices other people make. Shouldn't we be able to define what it means to be born in the wrong body? Well, we can define what it means to be in the wrong body. Okay, what is that? What does it mean? I feel like I'm in the wrong body. That's what it means. Example, I think children are extremely naive, and I think children will listen to the adults around them. You know, 10-year-olds engage in magical thinking, right? Absolutely. 
I'm a school counselor. That's my job. I literally do this professionally. Have you changed since you were 10 years old? Absolutely. Did you learn something since you were 10? I would hope so. So probably the way you think when you're 15 is a lot different than 10. Your morals and your identity, those things for me haven't changed. Well, when I was and 10 years old, I believed Santa Claus came down my chimney and put presents under the tree. Right, because children believe in magical thinking. Children are extremely naive, and I think children will listen to the adults around them. I'm a school counselor. You're saying the quiet part out loud, I think. God, these people are so delusional. First of all, she just said it. Kids are naive, basically meaning, yeah, kids will believe what adults tell them. They're like sponges. So if you've got people like her teaching your kids, they're in trouble. So stop teaching them that they can be any gender they want, because it's not true. And she's not in the wrong body. She's in the wrong outfit. Oh, can I have a cookie? Sure, oh. sweetie. You are so cute. I know. <laughs> you have a girlfriend yet? No, I'm a bachelor like my Uncle Charlie. So you're never going to get married? No, as long as I got someone to clean my house and some action on a regular basis, I don't need a wife. City boy! City boy! Excuse me? I don't want to give anybody half my stuff. Okay, bye-bye. Girl loses his girlfriend at Rolling Loud. Yeah! No way. That's your girlfriend? No. Bro, end it. End it, bro. See, it's a cold world we live in, but what can he do? Nothing. Forget about her. Yeah, she, she's a 304. She's for the streets. Move on, get in the gym, become the best version of yourself. That's all you can do. Let's talk about Ben and Jerry's. They tweeted this out. It's 4th of July. It's high time we recognize that the U.S. exists on stolen indigenous land and commit to returning it. Leftists love like beautiful infographics that educate you on an issue that they're doing nothing about. <laughs> But a tribe, the Abenakis, has come forward and actually pointed out that Ben and Jerry's headquarters rests on the stolen land of this tribe that is based in Vermont. And what did they hear? Crickets. Nothing. It was silent. And they even got their own little community note on Twitter saying, despite Ben and Jerry's supposed commitment to returning land they feel was stolen, they have yet to reach out to the tribe whose land their headquarters is on and arrange a return of the land to them. <laughs> like just based off of the conversation we're having now. <sighs> like if it were a date? Yeah. Cause this is technically like a date, like a mini date. Go back. You know I want to I'm not really sure. Kind of got a blindfold on, so I don't really know what to ask you. You can okay, take a so blindfold I'm, off. I'm not your typical 10, so like what are, looks like everything to you? Like what is the vibe? Not everything, but it plays a big part. For sure. Well, with that being said, you can take your blindfold off. Oh, fuck no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>